Hello. So Saxon today, we're doing lesson 21. Okay. Watch the video for these. Combination, you need your worksheet. And then this is your spelling list that you're gonna have a test over on Friday. Okay. Okay. So look at your review works. We're going to spell first. Review word number one, spell first. Remember that has a combination in it. First. Okay. Third. Third. I hear a voiced TH. Combination IR. And then a D. Shirt. I hear a blend sh combination IR and a T. Okay, now we're gonna do sight words. Who? That's not where that goes, right here. Sight words number four. Who? You and R. R. Okay. Set that aside for now. Remember during these, you can always pause, okay? Be sure and study your spelling words this week. So, echo these words. Burn, hurt, and curl. Burn, hurt, curl. So what sound do you hear in the medial position? Remember the medial position is the middle. So we hear burn, hurt, and curl. We hear er. So let's look at these words and see what's making that sound. Burn. Hurt. Curl. So what is making the er sound? It's the UR. So the UR is a combination er. Oh my goodness, we have an ER combination, an IR combination, and a UR combination, and they all say er. Okay. So how do we code our combinations? We use an arc. Okay, any other codes on this we need? Burn, hurt, curl. We need a K back on that C, okay? We don't need anything else because even though this is a vowel followed by a consonant, it's gonna follow the combination rule here, okay? Okay. So, our new deck cards. So, when we see this card, what are we going to say? Are we going to say you are? No, we say combination you are. Okay. Our new picture card is turtle. Turtle. Do you hear the er in there? T er tole. Okay. So, we say turtle. And then er for when we see this picture. So let's look back at this. Okay. New words. Let's spell hurt. Er. We learned the new combination you are today. Digraph CH. Earn. 
I'm sorry. I paused because I didn't, I don't know what I said over here, but it was not digraph. Digraph SH, digraph CH. It is so Monday, but we're going to make it slurp. 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 Okay. Remember, read these words and spell them to somebody in your house and then check them off. Okay. Let's look at your worksheet. So you need to code these words and then sound them out. Okay. Do that. Pause this video and do that and then unpause and see if you got them right. Okay. So pause. Er, fur. Ba, erp, burp. We, I skipped the step of practicing our coding. I mean, it's been a while for me too. Digraph, digraph. So, ch, urch. You know, just checking the answers. Okay, so I see a vowel vowel, consonant, consonant. So we're going to split it. Accent. This is going to get this. This is a digraph. And this is going to get this. Rub. Bish. But remember, this just gets one sound. So rub ish. Rubbish. That's rubbish. That's nonsense. Digraph. There's nothing following that, so it's long with an accent mark. I see vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant, split. That gets the short vowel. That does not get the short vowel. That gets an arc. Check into my answers to make sure. So we have double N says one N sound. Win er, winner, church, fur, winner. Okay, so let's look at this. Braxton has a cat, flannel. So that means the cat's name is flannel. Flannel has fur that is thick. If Braxton will brush the fur on flannel, she will win a contest. Braxton is glad that flannel can be a winner. Flannel has thick, flannel has fur that is thick. So it has thick fur. Who has the cat? Austin, Braxton, or Clifton? Braxton. What must Braxton do to help Flannel be a winner? Brush her fur, brush a ribbon, or get a bonnet? Brush her fur. Some of these are silly. Braxton is a cat. Braxton is a flannel, or Braxton is a person. Well, Braxton has a cat flannel, so Braxton is a person. Your job is to do the back. I'm going to tell you right now, don't forget those K-backs. That was back at like one of our very first lesson was the K-backs. So I'm going to give you a clue. This has a K-back and this has a K-back because it's K, K. Almost said the word. Okay. Code these words. Read this. Answer these. 
and then take a picture of this and send it to me, okay? These are your words that you will have a spelling test on Friday, okay? Good job, guys.